In the 1870s, Britain's railways were the beating heart of the Industrial Revolution. Here in the Midlands, Ilkeston and the surrounding areas were thriving thanks to coal mining, the textile industry and the ironworks. But moving goods further afield was both a logistical and expensive problem. Coal was king in the Erewash Valley and local industries were booming. Moving goods by rail was much more economical and faster than moving it by the canals. But there was a desperate need for competition to break the Midland Railway's high tariffs. Enter the Great Northern Railway Company with an ambitious plan to connect Nottinghamshire to Derbyshire and give the Midland Railway some competition. But there was a problem. The Erewash Valley was marshy and prone to flooding and littered with extensive mines. Building a conventional railway line through here was practically impossible. But the Victorians didn't do impossible, they did innovative. And the solution was to go over the valley, not through it, with an iron viaduct. Work began in 1876 with engineer Samuel Abbott at the helm. Instead of using bricks or stone, which were heavy, expensive and more prone to sinking in the marshy ground, the viaduct was built entirely out of wrought iron. The design combined strength with light weight and the components were prefabricated in Derby to speed up construction. The viaduct stretches 1,452 feet and is supported by 15 wrought iron piers. To save weight and avoid the structure sinking into the soft ground, it's the longest wrought iron viaduct in the British Isles. The work was dangerous with men balancing on narrow beams as they pieced the structure together. But by 1878, the viaduct was complete and the Great Northern Railway had its new connection to challenge the Midland Railway's dominance. From here, trains carried coal, iron ore and passengers between Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire. It wasn't just a railway line, it was a game changer for the region. Fast forward to World War One. It's January the 31st, 1916, and the Midlands is under attack. The German Zeppelin L20 is on a bombing raid and it's targeting Britain's industrial heartland. The town of Ilkeston, its coal mines, the railway network, including the viaduct, are in the firing line. Drawn by the glow from the nearby Benelli Ironworks, the Zeppelin dropped several bombs near the viaduct, hoping to cripple the railway and disrupt coal transportation. But this incredible iron structure didn't flinch. The raid caused damage to the surrounding area, but the viaduct stood tall, unharmed. Its lightweight iron frame actually helped absorb the shock of the explosions, proving just how resilient this design really was. But like so many railway lines, the Benelli Viaduct's fortunes began to fade, and in 1968, it closed to all traffic. For decades, it stood as a rusting relic and facing the constant threat of demolition. local historians, community groups and engineers recognised the viaduct's unique heritage and fought to save it. As one of only two surviving wrought iron viaducts in Britain, it's a rare example of Victorian engineering brilliance. <laughs> <laughs> 